Hi, this is a screencast for the ENG 101 Freshman Composition course. I'm going to quickly show you how to do assignment number two. Okay, so first off, if you click on the modules two page, you will see that this module is a two-week module that will last two weeks. And we are going to be working on assignment number two and journal and a handbook activity for this week. So let's go ahead and click over to week two. So you'll see listed here the handbook activity and then assignment number two here. Let's go ahead and click on that because that's all we're going to talk about in this screencast. All right, so you'll see that um, this assignment is a assignment to ask you to give me some writing. Now, I want to learn a little bit about you, and I also want to see how well um, you write at the beginning of the course. It's almost like a, a pretest, so to speak. So. Don't worry about um, trying to get help on this. Just do the best that you can. You're going to be graded uh, whether you have 50 million errors or one error. You'll get credit just for doing it. And then we'll use this writing as our basis for what skills you need to work on, along with the diagnostic that you're going to be doing as well. So write up this document, answering as many of these questions as you can, and then you're going to post it in two places. Okay, the first place you're going to post it is in Insight. So if we click on over to Insight, you will go in and you will see that assignment number two is listed here. Now yours will look a little different because you'll have a student view, but just go ahead and click on that assignment and you will see that you'll be able to upload that assignment right in here. Okay, so upload one copy here. Now the second thing that you want to do is upload it to your blog. So you're thinking blog, what's a blog? Well, if you go ahead and hit Site Admin, and it'll take you over to the other side. Now what you'll really see um, is this message that says that you don't have access to the English 101 dashboard and what you do have access to is your own blog. So you should say um, see your name here and it should say your blog. So go ahead and click visit the dashboard. So the back side as I referred to earlier is what we call the dashboard and you'll get all kinds of messages here and I'll, we'll talk about how to fix these things later but for now what we want to do is show you how to post so forget about all of this stuff but look over here on this side so what you'll see are two things or lots of things but first I want to talk about posts and pages so when you write in your journal you're going to create a post but when I ask for you to do things for your portfolio, you're going to create a page. In this case, for assignment number two, you're going to create a page. So I'm going to go ahead and click Add New. And I'm going to name this page Writing Profile. If I can spell it correctly. Keep getting all these messages here. So, Writing Profile. And then you want to copy and paste your Writing Profile in this message or in this box here. Assignment 2 goes here. And when you're finished, you want to go ahead and just hit Publish. If you're not finished and you want to save it, go ahead and save it. But for now, let's go ahead and publish it. All right, so now I have created a page on my blog. As you can see, this is the URL of my blog. And let's visit it to see what it looks like. So I'm going to go ahead and say, Alex's blog and I want to view the site and voila there is my blog for this class and you can see that up at the top I have created a page I've actually created two because I've created one already but when you click on your writing profile that is where your profile will show up okay so you only need one page for that now any assessment that I ask for you to do will go here now you can see this little blog this bar up here. This will help you get back and forth between things. So when you look at your site, you have one site, but if you click on here, it'll take you all the way back to the main site. Okay, so now you are back on the course site. You can see everyone's name and picture here. You can access your blogs in one of two ways. You can click on blogs or just go ahead and click up here. And when it says my sites, go ahead and click on your dashboard. So remember, you're going to create a page for any assessment, but you will create a post for your journals. So more on that later.